Welcome back to my channel. This is Kat again. And before going to the video, I would just like to make a quick intro. And before anything else, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time. Click that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you'll get notified whenever there's a new video like this. So if you still haven't seen any of my videos, um, I do thrifting and ukay ukay and I'm an advocate. Advocate talaga. Or I'm more on to a budget fashion. So you can, I don't know if you can call that one budget fashion. But yes, I do ukay ukay and thrifting and thrift flip and yung mga old clothes, I transform it so that medyo tipid tayo. But on accessories and bags, uh, medyo I splurge myself for those. <laughs> not really splurge, not too much actually. So before I never thought of buying um, designer bags or luxury bags because they are so ridiculously overpriced. I don't, know, I don't know if it's overpriced or they're just really expensive because of the quality of material and the craftsmanship, craftsmanship that has been done to all these bags. And I just really can't afford it and for me it's just impractical. But if you are a hard evangelista and you earn so much, then yes, you can buy those luxury luxury bags. But then when I get older and I get into fashion and styling and I see this uh, vloggers and bloggers having these designer bags and they're just really cute and they're just going to make your um, simple or casual outfit make it more a little bit extra because of your accessories and that is your bag or that is your shoes. And since now, um, the pre-loved luxury bags are getting on trend and you can have uh, authentic or original luxury bags in a fraction of a cost. But it is a risk actually because sometimes they say it's authentic but when you get the product, it's not. So you really have to be careful when buying this one. So I got myself this one. This is a wait, I forgot the name. This is a vintage Gucci. Let me just check the full name. This is a Gucci Hobo Rare Vintage Piston Lock Brown Gigi Monogram Canvas. I don't know if this is the brown one because in these pictures, Google this. Is Brown and since this is vintage already, the letter has become dark brown. It's become dark brown already. And it has a very cute um, piston lock. That's what it says. Yeah. And when I got this one, the issue of this bag is this is canvas and it's stiff, but I don't know if. Um, it is really designed stiff so that it can actually stand on its own like this But the canvas has become wrinkly and that That was the issue. So I got this for very cheap actually It is a score. It is a deal and I so love this one and I was trying to Google search anything that can restore the stiffness or the wrinkling of Gucci canvas bag and there is none actually. It's only how you can clean it. And so in the next video I tried to make it to restore it on my own. Restore if I can call if you can call that one restoring a Gucci bag. So this is at my own risk actually but it turned out very good. It's a little bit um, less wrinkly now. I'll put some before footage and picture and comparing this to now. It's so cute and it smells good. It doesn't smell old. And yes, this is my Gucci Canvas bag. And so, without further ado, let's get to the video on how I restored this. Fabric 
one filter to brush and some sponges and a clean block. Optional for using gloves. First, I poured a dishwashing liquid into the warm water and just a bit so that it will not be too soapy. So I put on my gloves and worked on the bottom part first with gentle strokes. So there you have it. I hope you like this video and I hope it helped you in some way. And if you also have other tips uh, in restoring these kind of luxury bags, then you can comment them in the comment section down below. And if I did something wrong also, maybe you can comment them and we will learn from each other. And that's it for now. I hope to see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye!